Hi guys, happy 2024. This is the first video of the year. So I hope everyone will have an amazing year. Lots of blessings, health and prosperity. In this video, we're gonna talk about what will the real estate market look like in 2024. I'm Davi Nogueira. I'm a realtor and real estate investor in the LA area who's helped hundreds of clients buy and sell real estate. Feds announced that they're gonna drop the rates multiple times in 2024. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be a drastic change, but the rates will drop, which is good news. However, um, I also don't feel like it's going to be much different than 2023. 2023 in real estate language was a slow market. Not a lot of houses sold, but the houses that were being sold correctly, being marketed well, they were selling at market value and then the houses that were being marketed poorly sold below market value. So I feel like 2024 will be somewhat similar, especially because we're still going to have low inventory. Most people that have three to 4% interest rates doesn't make sense for them to move. So most people that you see selling right now are people that are divorcing, unfortunately, or someone died in a family and the house needs to be sold, they cannot afford the mortgage, um, or they're moving out of state for, for a job. So most of the sales are for those reasons. Not all of the people were upgrading, downgrading, things like that. Going into 2025, that's when I think that's gonna start happening again, because rates will be lower, even if they're at the low fives. People have more of a reason to upgrade since let's just say someone who's got a one bathroom, for example, have a 3% interest rate. If they can get a lot for their house because the market's better in 2025, makes sense to sell, get a higher rate and upgrade because it's not gonna be a huge difference uh, in mortgage payment anymore since they're gonna get a large sum for the house that they bought it for probably a much lower amount at the 3% interest rate. Um, but during 2024, you're still gonna see opportunities to get good deals. Um, you're still gonna feel like the market's still going up because when you go submit an offer on a house, sometimes you see 10 other offers on a house. The reason you see things like that happening is because the inventory is low. So the trick is look for the crappy inventory. So houses that have weird layouts, houses that have unprofessional agents selling them. That's how you can find. Um, and then obviously houses that need work. People are still not spending a lot of money, um, just like in 2023. So houses that are already in good condition are selling higher and faster. And houses that are not, they tend to sit on the market a little bit longer, giving you the opportunity to get a good deal. So. I will look for that this year. Hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.